Howdy folks, Blues Boy Jag here with a Headley Green cigar box guitar. And for y'all who are into classic rock and may be familiar with the 70s bands, Headley Grange was the recording studio that Led Zeppelin used a lot for their albums, including Led Zeppelin 4, Stairway to Heaven. And uh, so this is kind of a tribute to Led Zeppelin. This is a humbucker, three-string, acoustic electric cigar box guitar. This is a wood box. Very cool artwork on the front of it. Take a look at that. I use a bolt for a bridge as I do on all my CBGs. They're attached with those screws there. When you change your strings, just unwind them from the screws and put new screws on, or new strings on. And this bridge here has a couple of screws in front to keep it in place. Humbucker pickup. Action low enough for fretted guitar playing or slide guitar playing. I try to set it up pretty close to uh, in the middle there so you can play either way. And if you prefer to have it higher for slide, you can put a slightly bigger bolt for the nut up there. I'd like to use the old school bolts for the bridge and the nut for two reasons. They look cool, they're old school, and they sound great because they're metal. So that gives you a better tone. <clears throat> Three strings, obviously, Blues Boy Jag logo, signed and numbered as I do on all of the boxes. I've got about uh, 10 to 15 coats of polyurethane on here to make it nice and shiny and protects your, your box. And of course, the sound hole for acoustic playing. Now, these uh, guitars are much smaller than a real acoustic guitar, so I call them living room volume when you play it acoustically. So you can have somebody sitting there watching the news and you're right next to them and you don't disturb them. Good practice. If you want to play gigs with these, just put a mic in front of them uh, if you want to play acoustically. Uh, you can also, of course, plug them in. There's a quarter inch jack volume control. And depending on the amp, you have set up some amps these days, more and more of them actually, have what's called an acoustic guitar simulator setting. And you just flip over to that and it gives you a really nice acoustic guitar tone for those more mellow gigs. Or you can crank it up like I've got this one cranked up. AEA, -E so this is a fifth string tuned to A from a regular electric guitar set. It's a fourth string or D tuned up to E, and that's a third string G tuned up to A. Now I can also put uh, the uh, heavier gauge strings on tuned down to G, so it'd be G D G. So this is a traditional. Traditional three string tuning for uh, slide guitar, open tuning for slide guitar. There are a billion, 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 trillion, billion, billion, billion times trillion 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 times ways to tune these cigar box guitars. Some people tune them to a minor chord. Uh, some people tune a couple of strings in unison. Some people tune them an octave apart. You don't have to have your bass string up here. You don't have to have your treble string up here. You can have your bass string on top. You can have your bass string in the middle. You can have your treble string in the middle. Treble string in the middle. Just a billion. There are no rules. Billion, billion, billion ways to do it. You don't have to stick to the traditional uh, format of a traditional guitar, although a lot of people do that too. Tune it regular, just like a six-string guitar, even though there's only three strings on it. You'd be amazed with a little bit of experimentation. Check out YouTube. Tons and 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 tons of videos explaining how to do that with regular tuning. Like you had six strings, but there's only three. So this would be A D G. I mean, there's just all sorts of different options. A lot of people play them lap style. You know, lap steel. Robert uh I suck doing that. 
lots of different options for these cigar box guitars. I've been making them since 2005, and I use the Red Oak Necks, and these frets right here are the high quality frets you'd find on a Fender, Gibson, etc. They're not the cheapies. And you can use any brand strings. I, me, Blues by Jack, me, maybe not you, maybe not him, maybe not her, but me. I prefer the Elixir. I like the slipperiness because it makes it easier to play and they last a low, ho, 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 long time. Once again, thanks for watching and thanks for your kind support.